Hi, I'm James, and I'm a teacher here at TDU. That's Tokyo Denki University in Tokyo and Saitama. What do I teach? I teach English and game design. These two things are connected, but we're just going to focus on the first one today, English. Follow me. My background is in task-based language teaching, which is a method of teaching English. And I'm an avid gamer. I love to play games. In fact, I learned a lot of Japanese by playing online games with Japanese players. So it was only natural for me to start researching game based language learning. When you think of game based language learning, maybe you think of Mario or something like this. But in fact, there are many, many games that we can use to help students learn a language. I only use analog games or tabletop games like these. So how can we learn English through games? Well, let me show you. Okay, in my class we spend six weeks playing one game. The first week is the learn phase. In this class we learn how to play the game. So, read the rule book, watch YouTube videos, and ask each other questions about the rules. Finally, we do a test play just to get a feel for the game. Following, it's the play session. In the play session, we play the game. We also record the conversation. We record what everybody's saying during the game. We use things like our smartphones to do this. You don't need any fancy technology. Finally, we transcribe this recording. Now, what does transcribe mean? We recorded our speech. We're going to take that and write every single last part of it down on paper. Why? For the analysis stage. Analyze. What are we analyzing? Well, now we can see our conversation. We're going to look for two things in particular. Any English errors and anything that we said in Japanese, we're going to translate that into English. So we're improving our English during this lesson. Finally, we're going to compare our performance with native speakers. How? Let's use YouTube. There's plenty of gameplay videos out there. So now we've done the analysis stage. What's it all for? Replay. So we just did the whole analysis class, but why? For this, we're going to replay the game. And this time, let's hope that we can use some of the new phrases and expressions that we got from the analysis stage. So, same thing, replay the game, record it, and for homework, let's transcribe what we said. Week five, let's analyze our performance. But this time, we're going to compare. Compare what? We've got the transcription from the first gameplay and the transcription from the second gameplay. Let's see how much we improved. The final phase is the report phase. Now you are the game master. You know how to play the game. Let's give this information and this knowledge to other people. You have three options during this phase. You can write a game review. You can tell somebody else how to play. Or finally, you can present your experiences using a formal presentation. So, now you know all about the course. Let me show you the games that we're going to be playing. I use two kinds of games in my classes hidden role games and cooperative games. These kinds of games are fantastic at promoting oral communication, so speaking skills. Hidden role games. In this kind of game, everybody is given a secret role and you win by finding the role of all the other players. So, this is a player versus player game. It's fantastic for promoting acting, negotiation, role play, and it's always full of shock, horror, and surprises. Cooperative games. Don't like conflict between players? Fine, this is the game for you. In cooperative games, all of the players are working together against the game. So, take your time, make a plan, and win together. Okay, so that's how I teach English with games. If you're interested in learning this way, I'm going to have a 10 week course at English Garden starting in September through to December. If you are interested, please click on the link in the description. I can't wait to see you there. This is James from TDU. See you in September.